How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Now, last night, I completed Anthony Gordon. Um, to get the Gordon, it's an objective. It's like one of those academy players, so you need to gradually improve the cards. So, first off, you need to play qualifiers. Bad news is if you... You did your foot champs qualifiers early. You wouldn't have got your qualifiers in for this weekend league. So you need to finish this weekend league to get your qualifiers. To, you know, it's a whole situation. It's a whole situation. But fortunately for myself, uh, I was in a position where I did the qualifiers in the week once this did come out. And then during the weekend league, you just need to play 12 games uh, with the 86. And you do get the 88. And 88, Anthony Gordon, is the reviewee today. The foot future star. Six foot, high medium. Right foot primarily. Four star skills, five star weak foot, which is very, very impressive for the card, given that, which ones are the other ones? The 82, the 84, and the 86, they've all got three star, three star. As for the alternate positions, because obviously, you want them to kind of start in different positions, stuff like that. Left wing, right mid, left mid, and right wing. Very versatile on the wings in the Premier League. So in terms of stats, um... It's a good balance of stats, in my opinion. Uh, it's got good dribbling anyways. 89, what a number. Marshall 89 and all that. Uh, good ball control, 90. Dribbling, 90. Agility, 90 as well. Um, very, very good dribbling stats. Stamina's there. Strength and stuff isn't there. So already, you know, kind of, potentially his flaws. He's going to get pushed over, potentially. Uh, but he's got good dribbling stats. Very good dribbling stats. Passing as well for the position that he is in. Out on the, the wide areas, which, by the way, you don't necessarily have to just play him there. You could play this card striker, and I know what you're thinking, striker? Yes, you definitely can. He's got five star weak foot, good shooting stats. The volley is the only thing that's in uh, like the low areas. It's 61, but again, volleys on this game last year, year before that, year before that. Uh, the stat doesn't really matter, depending on the situation that you're in. So, um, yeah, you can still score the volleys. Uh, 92 shot power, good finishing, 86, good positioning, good long shots, and the pace is there with the cards. I used the Hunter Chem style. I think that worked really well with the card too. He's got early crosser, given that he's right-footed on the left-hand side, if you do play him there. You can do those Travella crosses from kind of a deep, uh, deeper angle anyways. He's got the flare traits, and he's got outside the foot shot. So alternatively, if you use them on the other side of the pitch, you can use the Travellers with Anthony Gordon. But with that being said, what we're going to do now is jump in the gameplay. Let's see how we did. So here we go in to the gameplay. I played a lot of games last night with Anthony Gordon once I did get the Deketela video done. So the games I did with Gordon, this was his first goal going through. Nice little one-two there. I uh, don't know who it was. Maybe with Miguel Almiron. But... Um, Pass and go, give and go, it's very good with Anthony Gordon. And I think you're going to see that a lot during the highlights. And what I want you to kind of focus on during the highlights as well is, by the way, I'm going to be at the top of your screen, you see that there, or you'll be towards the bottom of your screen, depending on which kind of side of the pitch we are attacking. Because I'm using them as like a left forward, it would have been on previous games, but it is the left center forward in a 4 3 2 1. And he played really well there. Simply because, and like I'm saying, focus on it. His movement is incredible to get in the areas that he needs to be in in order to be an asset to your team. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be a finish, whether it be an assist, whether just to get him into space. You've seen the goals he scored already and they've come off like a given goal. Is either his movement into the area, into the box, and just movement from deep, even like breaching the defensive line. It is incredible sometimes. By the way, you see that chop there? I didn't do like a, a left trigger chop. A left trigger chop, that doesn't sound right. But you know when you do the, the, the actual chop, you mean to do your press or you hold left trigger and you do a fake shot. I didn't hold left trigger, I just did a fake shot and he naturally did the chop. Maybe that's a flare trick kicking into play, but it was very, very effective. Rounds the keeper and he did put it into the empty net. But again, it's all about this movement, man. He's incredible with it. This time, going into the area, taking his time, cutting it back, sat in easy as you like. Um, but yeah, definitely movement is up there with the first things that you will notice with the card. But you might see it's not amongst his pros. Uh, but rest assured, it is definitely one of the, the better things about this card. His movement's incredible. Again, ghosting into that left-hand side um, of the penalty area, and he does tap into the empty net. So pace-wise, is he as fast as the card does suggest? Because he's got 92 pace, um, 91 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, good agility at 90, and I stuck a Hunter Kem style on him. Is he literally 99-99? Uh, he doesn't feel like he's going to be as fluid as like your Neymar's, your Mbappe's, your Saint Maximins, for example. But 
he is very quick in a straight line sprint. Uh, so yeah, his pace is definitely a pro with the cards. Also, his first touch can be incredible at times. Sometimes, if you try the instant kind of speed dribble, it's a little bit like mm, robotic. Robotic would be my my word with that. Again, great movement to get the back post there. So it, sometimes his dribbling can be robotic from like the, the get-go. But... It's just whether you sprint with it. So it's all about getting to, to kind of learn or get used to the card because he is very good at dribbling. Just sometimes with the initial like acceleration off the mark, it can get away from him. I think that makes sense. Uh, his passing is incredible for his position. His shot power is fantastic. He's seen a lot of goals in these clips. I played nine games last night, eight goals, two assists. And um, of course, his five-star week foot does come in clutch a lot of the time, even with the passes. You've seen that one there. To Eddie Inketia. The only kind of downside with this Gordon is the strength. He's not very strong. Uh, 68 strength, 74 aggression. He's not very... He doesn't really hold his own, basically, is what I'm trying to say. He's not very strong. doesn't have the upper body strength. He doesn't fight for the badge. Maybe that's a little too far. Well, that's what we're going to do now, is jump in summary. Summarize Anthony Gordon and give you my opinion on whether it's worth the time. So there we have it then, lads. That was Anthony Gordon. As I'm doing this as well, my mouse has died, so that, that is absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'll plug it in. Look. Did you hear that? You might not hear that. But anyways, hey, I do this all live, so it is, it's fun. But anyways, I will see on Anthony Gordon. Nine games played, eight goals, two assists. It was very, very good for me. And by the way, two of those games, the first ones, um, my opponent, when I equalized in the first game, quit. So that, that was fun. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, so it was a 1-1 one, one rage quit from my opponent. And the next one kicked off and quit. So uh, it nil-nil as well. So basically two of those games are kind of write-offs. So seven games, uh, possibly in total, eight goals and two assists. He did very, very well. He's got a lot of um, assets to his, his kind of play, does Anthony Gordon. Now you might look at this card and think, hey, it's not worth it. To be fair, you don't have to do too, too much to get Anthony Gordon. It's just the way it's it's set out. I, I don't like the way it's set out. I did a video talking about it um, the other days. We got the 86. But I don't like the way it was like... It, it felt a little bit out of touch. You know what I'm saying? Because if they were in touch with the community, they'd know people's probably already got their playoffs done. A lot of people do playoffs straight after foot champs because that's the only time of the week, potentially, they get the chance... To qualify for the next weekend when they got free time off work or school or wherever it is. Uh, they don't always have time during the week. So for them to release uh, where well, you've got to get the playoffs done during the week. It's like, dude, it's already been done. And then they've got to play the weekend league without any Anthony Gordons or progress towards the Anthony Gordon. Get the qualifiers after the foot champs weekends. And then unlock him the weekend after. It's like a two week process where it could have been just like... Rivals or something like that, and it could have been a lot, lot simpler. But it is simple. But you would have had to already be, be basically in the qualifiers. And if you can't get it done this week, you're gonna have to get it done next week. Basically, um, the easy thing is about it is once you get the 86, it's plain sailing. You just have to, just have to play 12 games. You don't have to win um, or anything. It's just play. So I've, I'm, I think uh, we're gonna see a lot of people next week. Uh, playing with Gordon in their team, or the 86 to get the 88 as well. Um, so, with that being said, how good is he? He's very, very good. You've seen in the gameplay, some of the things he do, does is absolutely brilliant. Uh, sometimes the kind of contextual touches, um, I think it's with the flair, he does very skillful touches, uh, which is fantastic at times. With, with the chop where it went around the keeper, I didn't even trigger the skill. Like, I, normally for the chop to do, you've got to hold the left trigger, or basically L2 on PlayStation, and uh, do a fake shot. And obviously the angle that you're going to exit out of. With Andy Gordon, I did a fake shot, and it triggered a chop animation. And it just looks so nice. Round the keeper was very effective, and I did score the goal. And I was thinking, hey, that's brilliant. If you can do that the majority of the time... We're on to an absolute winner. So for me, the card is a very, very good card. And uh, the overall rating that I've given is a 9.0. Very effective card. And um, it's a good one to have as well. And if you think about the cards like at Newcastle, uh, English as well, for like the perfect links, you've got Nick Pope, Kieran Trippier at right back. Um, and you've got Joe Willard, brand new future star in midfield as well. And you've got Anthony Gordon. It's like a, a quadruple perfect link. It's fantastic. Um, 
And obviously, being in the Premier League in English, you've got a lot of English Premier League players you can also link to, including future stars Gwihi, who I rate on this game. So 9.0 overall rating, he's got the ability. As for the value for time, because obviously, there's no cost to this, apart from time, which time is money, money is time, I, I get all that. But the value for time for me will be a 9.8. If you can get them done, get them done, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because even with these cards, if you get the 88 in the end, you got fodder with an 82, it's not much fodder, but it is fodder. And you got fodder with the 84, and you got fodder with the 86 to put in a potential of rest VCs. So it is always kind of valuable doing cards like this. And uh, you look at the Lindstrom, uh, I think it's yes, but Lindstrom, that's something like 30 something matches you've got to play for that one. This one's a little bit more simpler. So guys, that will be it for this review of Anthony Gordon. If you guys have enjoyed it, please let me know uh, in the comments. And let me know your thoughts. Are you going to complete? Have you completed? And what's your thoughts on the card in general? Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great Saturday. Football's back on a day. We'll catch you in the next one.